Hi guys, this is Carrie from Rock and G Farm. Today I am going to do some seed starting in my kitchen because it is cold outside and we're just going to get some stuff done. So right now I'm going to do some broccoli and some cabbage because I need those started first because of the cold weather. They are cold weather vegetables and they need to be started which they probably should have already been started by now but we'll go ahead and get those done right now and then we'll move on to all the tomatoes I have and there you can see my cabbage as you can see here I was planning on doing this whole tray in cabbage and broccoli and then adding some more seeds in the other cells but then I realized I can't do that because cabbage and broccoli they germinate at a lower temperature than the other seeds that I'm starting so I just I'm going to have to change that so I went ahead and started getting all of my tags ready and looking to see exactly which type of broccoli and cabbage that I was wanting to start so that's where I'm going now with this, and it's always important to know all of your information about your seeds before you start the actual planting them in your seed mixture, in your mixture. Okay, now you can see what I am going to do. I am going to custom cut a larger cell tray down to the size I want for my cabbage and my broccoli. And then you can see in the background where I'm using a old meat tray to be the water containment system for the smaller cell tray that I'm using for the broccoli and the cabbage. Here's my smaller seed tray, and I'm going to be filling it up with just regular potting mix just because that's what I had on hand, and I'll have to go find my sterilized potting um, or seed starting mix somewhere on the farm, but right now I don't have that with me. I'm just trying to get some of the larger blocks of um, like wood particles out of it, but I just went ahead and used what I had on hand close by right now. And then also I'm doing it a little bit different. I'm just gonna water from the top instead of worrying about mixing it all in right now because those seeds are really kind of small and I'm just going to um, compact down that soil in this small seed tray and then I'm going to water it in and put some seeds on top of it. But right now, I'm just making sure that there are no air pockets in the seed tray. And now I'm just watering it in. Totally different than what I normally do, but today I needed to get this done fast, and this is pretty fast. As you can see, I didn't soak it with a whole bunch of water. I just needed to make sure that that soil was moist. One of the most important things you can do when starting seeds is make sure that you label, 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 and then label some more. No matter how many times I think I'm going to remember what is in my trays, there are numerous times when I forget and have no idea what I'm growing. Since I'm trying to get this done in a short amount of time, I made sure that I wrote the name of the seeds on the label added the date that I planted them and then I added how many rows of seed cells I had just so I could remember how much I wanted and it would make the, the system go so much faster instead of having to stop in the middle of what I was doing and go oh how many rolls do I want now I looked on my label it had everything on there, and then I just counted down the rolls and put my seeds in those cells. I let the little tray drain for a little bit so that if there was excess water in it, that I wouldn't have too much water in it and drown my seeds. So right now I'm making sure that I'm labeling, and as you can see, I said I wanted like three rolls of broccoli, so I left three rolls, and that one roll is going to be my cabbage. So as you can see, I'm reading the instructions because I want to make sure that I, I start the seeds the way they're needed to be started because you'll have better germination if you know the correct way to start a particular seed.
So I added quite a few of cabbage seeds to those cells, but when they get bigger, I will gently separate each of those plants and add them to different pots when I upsize them. So since I'm finishing up with that, I'm giving a light layer of soil on top of them and pressing down ever so gently to make sure that there's contact between the soil and the seeds. Vermiculite has been a game changer for me when I start my seeds. It helps keep extra moisture on your seeds while they germinate and make sure that they don't end up getting wet, starting to germinate, and then dry out and crack, and then you're done and lost your seeds. So after you put the soil on and you tap them down a little bit, give a very fine dusting layer of vermiculite on top of all the cells that you have seeds in, and then mist that vermiculite with the mister just to ensure that it is just a little damp, not wet, just a little damp, and that will help your seeds stay the right moisture they need to be in order to germinate. Okay guys, we are coming down the home, home stretch here with our little customized tray for our broccoli and our cabbage. I am putting some toothpicks around the tray so that it will hold the plastic wrap off of the dirt and soil so that the seeds will have space enough to germinate, but that plastic wrap is going to act like a humidity dome and keep the humidity in so that the soil does not dry out and the seeds do not dry out and we hopefully are crossing our fingers for great germination. All right guys, so this is my setup right now. I'm just trying to get some seeds in the ground so my setup looks scrap. Um, I have these set on a timer and they're not on yet. This is manual so I just turned it on right now. Um, so these are on timers and they'll come and go on, come and go on, on, off on their own. But I just put the broccoli and the cabbage back here and I'm not going to put it on a heat mat because it germinates at a lower temperature. And this right here is on a heat mat and they're already at 71.9. So if I keep them under here, it's going to keep it probably about 65, 68 to 72, which um, the broccoli and the cabbage like to germinate at. I am actually trying to find some more grow lots to set up a better system. I just cannot find anything that I like. I look at some and then I read some good comments and then some of the reviews are horrible. Um, they stop within three months. I just can't find any that I like. So if you know any good, not expensive grow lights, will you put them in the comments below so that I can do some reviews on them and read some reviews and research them and see if there's something that I might like to use. Okay guys, thanks for joining me today as I started my seeds of broccoli and cabbage and showed you my little setup. Give me in the comments any suggestions you have on some good grow lights and make what you have beautiful.